How to Treat and Cure Migraine A migraine headache is a form of vascular headache. Migraine headache is caused by resetilatation, enlargement of blood vessels, that causes the release of chemicals from nerve fibers that coil around the large arteries of the brain. Enlargement of these blood vessels stretches the nerves that coil around them and causes the nerves to release chemicals. The chemicals cause inflammation, pain, and further enlargement of the artery. The increasing enlargement of the arteries magnifies the pain. Migraine attacks commonly activate the sympathetic nervous system in the body. The sympathetic nervous system is often thought of as the part of the nervous system that controls primitive responses to stress and pain, the so-called fight-or-flight response, and this activation causes many of the symptoms associated with migraine attacks, for example, the increased sympathetic nervous activity in the intestine causes nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Sympathetic activity also delays emptying of the stomach into the small intestine and thereby prevents oral medications from entering the intestine and being absorbed. The impaired absorption of oral medications is a common reason for the ineffectiveness of medications taken to treat migraine headaches. The increased sympathetic activity also decreases the circulation of blood, and this leads to pallor of the skin as well as cold hands and feet. The increased sympathetic activity also contributes to the sensitivity to light and sound sensitivity as well as blurred vision. Migraine afflicts 28 million Americans, with females suffering more frequently, 17%, than males, 6%. Missed work and lost productivity from migraine create a significant public burden. Nevertheless, migraine still remains largely underdiagnosed and undertreated. Less than half of individuals with migraine are diagnosed by their doctors. Migraine is a chronic condition with recurrent attacks. Most, but not all, migraine attacks are associated with headaches. The symptoms may include Sleepiness Irritability Fatigue Depression or euphoria Yawning, and Cravings for sweet or salty foods Patients and their family members usually know that when they observe these warning symptoms that a migraine attack is beginning. Highly effective migraine solutions. Trigger management, if you're prone to migraines, certain stimuli may bring them on. Track your headaches on a calendar to look for patterns and potential catalysts such as the following. Dropping estrogen levels, before menstruating. Women have a steep decline in estrogen that appears to spark migraines low-dose estrogen contraceptives may help. Alcohol, if you get a hangover after one drink, you may actually be experiencing a migraine. Avoid alcohol that gives you a headache within 8 hours of consumption. Missed meals, fluctuations in blood sugar can cause a cascade of escalating pain that sets up your migraine response so don't go longer than 3 hours without food. Include a lean protein whenever you eat to help keep glucose levels steady. Caffeine, if you regularly consume large amounts of caffeine, you set yourself up for withdrawal headaches, which can stimulate your brain's migraine center and turn into migraines. Limit intake to 200 mg a day, that's roughly one 8-ounce cup of coffee. Sleep disruptions, sleep-deprived rats experience changes in key migraine-related proteins. Play it safe by being consistent about when you go to bed and get up. Natural remedies. Ice packs, always opt for cold rather than heat to stop migraine pain. Supplements, in a recent study, patients who took 400 mg of riboflavin, vitamin B2, Daily experienced significantly fewer migraines after 3 months. COC-10, another supplement. Relaxation techniques, massage can ease neck and shoulder spasms, while Tai Chi increases body awareness, making it easier to detect and treat an oncoming headache. Yoga that focuses on mindfulness, such as Hatha and restorative yoga, may also help. Herbs. The herb butterbur can prevent migraines possibly because it supports healthy blood flow to the brain. Dry leaf capsules of fever few may also reduce the frequency of migraines, though the clinical evidence is still inconclusive. 
acupuncture, several studies have found that it provides some of the same long-term results as drugs but without side effects. While this efficacy may be partly caused by the placebo effect, the treatment can still provide real relief. Medical Treatments Tryptans they affect almost every migraine causing mechanism, but they may sometimes cause rebound headaches. Beta blockers slash antihypertensives, intended to treat high blood pressure, angina, and fast heartbeats, these drugs, which include propranolol, metoprolol, and timolol, are also used to prevent migraines because they are thought to affect relevant blood vessels. Find a calm environment. At the first sign of a migraine, retreat from your usual activities if possible. Turn off the lights. Migraines often increase sensitivity to light and sound. Relax in a dark, quiet room. Sleep if you can. Try temperature therapy. Apply hot or cold compresses to your head or neck. Ice packs have a numbing effect, which may dull the sensation of pain. Hot packs and heating pads can relax tense muscles. Warm showers or baths may have a similar effect. Sleep well. Migraines may keep you from falling asleep or wake you up at night. Likewise, migraines are often triggered by a poor night's sleep. Eat wisely. Your eating habits can influence your migraines. Consider the basics. Be consistent. Eat at about the same time every day. Don't skip meals. Fasting increases the risk of migraines. Keep a food journal. Keeping track of the food you eat and when you experience migraines can help identify potential food triggers. Avoid foods that trigger migraines. If you suspect that a certain food, such as aged cheese, chocolate, caffeine or alcohol, is triggering your migraines, eliminate it from your diet to see what happens.